Hi all, welcome to the video tutorial session executeautomation.com on Test Complete. Today we are going to discuss one of the most exciting features in Test Complete like name mapping, alias, how to map objects in name mapping, how to use map to object in script. As I already said, name mapping is more equivalent to the object repositories in Quick Test Professional. I use name mapping a lot while recording an object in an application. And also name mapping helps me guide where the object exactly locates in which hierarchy of the application and how to use these objects in our script. Name mapping, you know, I use a lot especially while working with web-based applications. But for today's demonstration, I'm going to show our legacy calculator application and we're going to see how to use name mapping in very basic okay so let's get started so I'm gonna start my VMware again and I'm just getting into my VMware okay so I just created a project a while before for name mapping so in name mapping here I have the uh, name mapping open here okay I just recorded before in order to make sure that my recording don't go anything wrong <laughs> so what I'm going to do right now is let's create a new project altogether. So let's say I'm going to create a project called Name Mapping Demo. And I'm going to click the next button here, generic windows, next, next. And I'm going to select the language the JavaScript here. Okay, so it has created me a new project here. So don't consider about this name mapping. I'm just going to delete this one to avoid confusion. Okay, so we have this name mapping demo here. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to record our legacy calculator applications and we're going to see how it's been recorded in the keyword view, keyword test. So just let's start recording here using keyword test. I'm just recording it here and I'm going to open the calculator and I'm going to say 56 plus 95 is equal to 151 and here I'm going to switch back to the scientific view and I'm going to say 89 plus 36 is equal to 125 great so I've just recorded this whole stuff and I'm going to stop this calculator right now and I'm going to stop the test recording okay so as you know that our test complete has recorded the whole stuff here in the keyword test and what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to execute the test and see like how it's working so I'm just running the test let's see how it works I know it should open my calculator oops we got a problem here I'm just going to stop because it has selected the wrong view but still it's working oh my god <laughs> okay so far so good as you could see this is a little slight uh, bug I mean it's not a bug uh, it seems like the object which has been mapped for the basic view of the calculator and the scientific view of the calculator seems to be both same but if you do the same with the uh, say programmer mode or some of the statistics mode I think it won't work uh, you know what I mean I'm just gonna open the calculator here if I change this to the programmer mode and if I run the same test once again it should be it should not work let's see mm-hmm okay so it just stopped that's an issue so what does it mean is the recorded object that we have uh, in our uh, recording session we did before it has recorded the the objects of the scientific view uh, and the standard view so standard and the scientific so these are the only objects being recorded it hasn't recorded any objects from the programmer view or in the statistical views so that's what it is so as you could see all these objects are working fine for the scientific and the standard view but once it goes to the programmer view the objects is been not working fine this is because the object is not mapped to this particular window of the application so where are all these objects being mapped 
how this test complete recognizes the objects so all this recognition of the object is done from one place which is name mapping so here test complete stores all the objects in name mapping so we're going to see the name mapping right now so I'm just going to close this guy right now and also the open guy here and change this to standard to make sure and here is the name mapping as you could see here all the objects are stored under the alias tab here so if we could just see this these are the buttons which has been mapped in our test and these if you just click this button uh, btn1 and if you could just open the calculator and if you just click right click this and select the highlight on screen it will highlight the button what it what it actually means so if you want to see the uh, additional property of this button you can show this in the find op mapped object so here is the mapped object which has been mapped in the name mapping window and also if you want you can double click this and you can see its additional properties of the object so if you want to say uh, if you want to identify the object with its enabled is equal to true always so you can always just add this also this way your objects will be mapped or identified with an additional property enabled is equal to true so that's how we use this object um, I mean name mapping so name mapping is one of the really cool features in test complete uh, which will be really helpful and even more handy while working with an very large application so you can easily identify an object and also if we could see here the objects been mapped in this feature uh, in this format using this calci and with the window calculator which is the window name and there is a calci frame which is the frame if I just right click this guy and if you select the highlight on screen it will just highlight this the frame actually similarly if I select this page 32770 and if I select the highlight on screen it will highlight this particular page so it means for identifying an object test complete has just recorded the object with this particular hierarchy right so this is very important and even if you if you want to edit this particular button and if you say okay uh, I don't like this button with this name I want to change this button name with some of the meaningful names then you can always do that if you want to do this you can straight away go to the find mapped object here and uh, let's see what is the name of this particular uh, what is the object it's been identifying so it's button 5 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this guy with button 5 and it says like do you want to do use the specified name to rename all the alias created for this object I would say yes and also it says this name mapping item alias dot calci dot window calculator dot btn was renamed but this name is used in the keyword test do you want test complete to correct the keyword test also of course because in keyword test which we have recorded here it is still showing btn and we, we want to make sure that the name that we are changing as a button 5 is also reflecting in our keyword test so I would say yes so as you could see here I have this btn 5 similarly let's say what is this button Highlight on screen, it's button 6. So I'm going to change this guy. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. Let's change here. And I'm going to change this guy to button 6. And let's give S again. And similarly, for this button, I'm going to just uh, highlight and see what's this button. It's just an add symbol. So I'm going to rename this guy to add, which is a little bit more meaningful and I have added this and again I'm gonna just highlight and see what is this guy it's button 9 so I'm gonna rename this guy to button 9 okay just give S similarly for uh, this guy what is this okay it's equals so I'm gonna rename this guy to equals and I'm going to give the yes button here and let's see what's this button oops 
highlight on screen it's button 8 so I'm going to rename this guy to button 8 QS very good and about this guy if I just highlight this button it's button number 3 so I'm going to write this as button 3 that's it okay pretty cool and if I go back again to the test and if I see here it's right now very more very meaningful than before and we can easily identify that okay it's clicking the button 5 and button 6 and button 9 and button 5 that's great and it's going to click the equal button and now so it's selecting the main menu to, to select from view scientific option and then it's going to perform these operations okay let's save this guy and just try to run once again and we'll see like it's working fine or not okay so cross my fingers okay it's running pretty fine super okay so as expected it's working pretty much fine right now so this is how you can edit an object in name mapping. Similarly, in order to add additional properties in a mapped object, you can just double click this button. Uh oh, one second. It says like unable to edit the name mapping uh, item because its underlying object does not exist. So it says, do you want to... Okay, since we have changed the name of the object, it's asking us that it's not been mapped with the name mapping dot sing sys dot cal c so do you want to refresh the tree i would say yes so it will find okay just let's leave this as of now because it can easily highlight the object even if it does not okay so let's open the calculator here and let's try again yep it's working so since i have closed the calculator test complete could not exactly find the particular object which is available in the application so right now it will able to identify the object so just double click this guy and you can see there is an additional properties of this particular object so you can easily identify these objects i mean add this object and also if you want to say that i just want this particular object to be identified only if this and if this caption is equals to Windows Calculator, then identify the object. So you can also give a conditional mode to make sure that this button always exists in the scientific windows. So because I was saying that the calculator window has got a programmer option, similarly it has got a scientific options. As you could see, our program, I mean, the same button works fine for both standard and scientific. But if it goes to the programmer view, it won't work fine because the buttons already, because the objects of the button actually changes in this particular view. So you can write a logic to make sure that if the particular button, say button number 8 and 9, can be clicked only in the scientific view if it is a programmer view then say hey it's not the correct window so just close this particular test something like that so you can do this by clicking double clicking this particular button oops I'm sorry I just closed that so you can just say you can just double click this button and in this conditional mode you can say that if the windows caption is equals to let's say calculator one second I would say say calculator and if if its name is equal to button 9 and let's say you have an option to select this particular scientific view or the programmer view of the main menu then perform this operation something like that so using this conditional operation we can also do a lot of options so this is how you can edit the mapped object within your applications okay now let's see let's see how to use this name mapped object in your scripts 
so now to do that what you can do is let's say I'm going to right click this guy and say convert to script I'll click this OK button and I'm going to click this yes because I want this description to be converted as the comments and if you could see here now it seems to be more meaningful than compared to uh, the one which says BTN, BTN1 or BTN2 because now it's more you know shows us okay it is a button 1 uh, it is button 6 and button 5 so you can also shrink this long code by means of giving them still more uh, meaningful I mean reduce the code by means of creating an object let's say I'm going to create the object as where uh, the calculator right and I'm going to say cal C is equal to alias dot cal C dot windows calculator dot call frames dot page three two double seven zero oh, because these are seems to be more repetitive so I'm going to reduce these guys and I'm going to replace this whole stuff with cal C so just giving replace all oops okay it has mistakenly replaced the actual variable declarations also as you could see right now that the code has came down very little and it's also a little more meaningful than compared to before so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say uh, run the same test once again and let's see how it works uh, ouch it says the Microsoft script debug is not installed okay do not show this right now let's run this oh that's cool so it's working pretty much fine so this is how you can record your test in the keyword test and also you can store the objects in the name mapping automatically and then you can edit the objects in name mapping window and you can use the conditional modes and also you can change the object uh, to its meaningful names and also you can use you can shrink the code to more meaningful way in the scripts like this well thank you for watching the videos